against tooth decay and immune against all these things as Weston Price showed so clearly. But yeah. obviously our bodies are like in this current situation, it's quite clear that the general population isn't as healthy as they should be. And yeah. you can see that that on their teeth, like because the idea should be in the future, the mindset at least for biological dentists that I teach is to not need to drill at all. Like keep all your healthy teeth until you're like 120. Yeah, I'd love to kind of come into uh, like a tangible place of how can people, you know, if they're listening to this, drive in or taking a walk or something, how can they start to develop a a deeper relationship with their own mouths and their teeth and their tongues and the microflora and their, you know, I don't know, their breath and, you know, what, what, what's, what can people be looking for with themselves, with their partners, with their family, with their kids? And, you know, first, I guess, a starting point of that, what are indications that we can be looking for? And then from there is what are some at home things that we can do to start to, um, you know, come back into balance? That's a good question. So you think as you, um, so that I get it correctly, first of all, you should be, you should know what has been done. Like, how is your mouth presenting right now? Do you have perfect, healthy teeth? And I've never been to see a doctor, the dentist for any drilling or removing of teeth, like you, for example. For you, it's more like, okay, how can I prevent um, cavities? How can I prevent going to the dentist at all? How can I have the perfect oral microbiome, perfect gum? Because you know gum is really important. Gum is outside skin, is outside body, like your skin or like your uh, intestines. It's, it should be, it's a protection barrier. But if you have bleeding gums or like cut it open, it's kind of like leaky gut already in your mouth. I call it leaky gum. So it is really important that you also have your gum. Your gum needs to be clean and not bleeding all the time. So if you're healthy, floss. you should. Hmm? So floss, would that be? I'm not a big fan. So I, I'm just really? assuming that you have perfect teeth and you never have been done. There's no dental work done, right? You have all your wisdom teeth. We just assume it. I had I had orthodontic work. I had braces. Okay. I had yeah. an upper palate expander. That's it. No fillings. Yeah. No fillings. I still have a very high palate, which is, I think they call it like, what do they call that? There's a, there's a term for it. It's just it's because like you, a, you can see it on your face. You quite your face is like quite long and square. It's not as wide, yeah. right. and you tall yeah. guys. It's normal. I have a wide, pal a high palate too. It's a bit yeah. of a, a degenerative thing, but not too bad. So you have perfect healthy teeth. I don't recommend flossing for perfect healthy teeth. Why? Really? Most, most like in nature. Why would you do? Where's the floss on the on the tree? Would you use the grass or whatever? Maybe. If something gets stuck in your teeth and you need to get it out, yes, then you maybe need a floss or you need a toothpick or whatever. But on a, like for prevention of tooth decay, for a healthy microbiome and healthy teeth, it makes no sense for most people because it's also quite diligent uh, to use it. You have to be really skilled. Mostly if you use it, you just, just like basically pull it through and most of the time you will bleed a little bit afterwards, right? Yeah. And what I see, if you open up, that's like doing like every day having a little micro cut in your in your arm. You would never do this because you know, okay, bacteria will go in there, right? Mm. But, but you open up your gum tissue, which has a huge microbiome in your mouth every day, just a little bit because of bleeding, because you want to clean in between your teeth, which if you're all healthy and have a good lifestyle makes no sense. Yeah, because you don't prevent tooth decay by flossing. You prevent tooth decay by your lifestyle and nutrition. That's it. You would I don't even need to to brush my teeth with my current form of diet or nutrition. And right. either had somebody who that um Weston Price was um seeing back a hundred years ago. There was no toothbrushes. So right. but if you had like tons of dental work done, you had fillings, amalgam fillings, you have root, root canals, you have crown work, you have implants, it's totally changing. Then you probably need to floss. So it's really different. It's really in between. But for prevention, your nutrition and your micronutrients are key to get. Wow. Yeah, because if like what dentists sense. say is you, use, you should use the floss to get rid of the biofilm. And because there's bacteria in there, they will eat your food and then destroy, destroy your enamel, like 
make it simple. You, they eat sugar and then there will be acidity and then there is a hole in your, in your tooth. It's not that simple. It, it's a nice story that we learn when we were kids, but it's not quite correct. And what happens is if your saliva or if really if your nutrition is off, you have tons of sugar spikes, insulin, and your whole pH level in your mouth will change all the time. And obviously, it gets probably more acidic. Also, you have tons of nutritional deficiencies and mainly minerals, all these things. And then what the body does if he has a deficiency, mineral deficiency, basically, he takes it from your teeth and from your bone. It's kind of like osteoporosis of your teeth. If you get this initial tooth decay, which we call white spot lesion as a dentist, this is something that you can see on a, on a small, on a tiny x-ray. Sometimes dentists will do this once a year just to see if there's something to drill. It's it that's the cavity. It's a decay still in the enamel in the in the hard part of your tooth. Then it's to be decided: Are we going to monitor this, or are we going to drill it already? A biological dentist would never drill it. They would say, "Okay, here's been some kind of deficiency. Maybe let's see how you eat. Maybe you have too much of carbohydrates a day." Maybe you're missing key proteins and minerals, whatever. Let's just do this, and then we will see in, in years' time, did it even go back or did it stay it's the same? We would never drill because as soon as you drill, you have a bigger hole. And then we call it the dental career starts. <laughs>